Today, we're going to talk about art hacks and tips, how to properly clean your paintbrushes and your rubber paintbrushes, how to create dust covers for your artwork, how to transfer paint into smaller containers, how to properly open and close lids on your metal cans, how to keep paint from drying out too fast, and how to prevent those pesky little paint boogers that you get in your paint. Let's get started, everybody. Hi, everybody. Joe Patty here. Pardon the lighting and everything tonight, but I was doing something, and I thought I'd show you guys a little something. Here we go. All right. The lighting isn't very good. My angles aren't that great, but I'm sitting on the floor, and I just want to show you a couple things. I'm going to show you how I clean my rubber brushes, my little silicone brush that I use. I just leave it sit in rubbing alcohol just for about maybe 60 seconds or so and kind of swish it around, and then I'll take it out and wipe it with the towel. And then, speaking of towels, I got this tip from Doris at DF Designs. And um, Doris puts rubbing alcohol on a towel like this and keeps it nearby. I love that idea. So you always have something to wipe your hands off on or get the resin off so you can pick up the heat gun or whatever and you don't get resin all over. So thank you, Doris. I love that idea. Paintbrushes, how to clean them properly. Um, when you take a paintbrush and you use your paintbrush, when you take it to go clean it and you rinse it out and you wash it or whatever, when you soak it, don't ever soak it up past that line right there the, where the metal meets. If you soak your paintbrush up higher than that, you're just ruining the bond between the bristles and the, uh, the end of the brush there, what, what holds it together. You don't want to soak your brush any higher than right about here. And another way to clean it is... Um, before you soak it even, is you can scrape it with a toothbrush even to get all that extra, extra paint off there. And then once you soak it, if you don't want to soak it or you clean it, whatever, when you're done, you take the ends like this and you go like this. That's how you get the bottom, all the water out of there and it comes out from the top. You just twist your brush like that. A lot of people go like this. You can do that, but it gets all over the place. But the best way is to put it down in your sink and just go like that. And then I'll clean your brush. What I'm doing here is I'm going to get some paint, and I want to put some paint into my bottle. So I created this little thing. I put a water bottle, put the lid on it, and I cut the end like this. So I want to dip the bottle in there because I don't want paint dripping all over the place, and I don't have one of those poor things and... You know, I have a weak right wrist, so I just don't want to pick up the gallon and start pouring and all that. So I'm going to try to dip this in here and pour it in here so then I can put it in my bottle. And then when I put it in my bottle, don't forget your handy dandy cheesecloth. And you put that over there and then you put the lid on. That way you get all your paint boogers out. Okay, let's give this a whirl, everybody. I have an extra piece of paper on hand. I'm just going to crinkle up just in case I need... A little piece of paper for something. Okay, so here we go. I'll put it in here first. And I'm going to dip this in here. I've mixed this house paint up. I've got three colors, at dip, uh, three gallons of house paint, and white's one of them. All right, now we're going to take this homemade bottle here that you can make. And don't forget, I took an X-Acto knife, and I put it right in the middle, and I have the flap going up. So it's going up towards the bottle top. And we're going to dip that in here. And we're going to let that get full of paint. And we're going to try to hold the flap up a little bit. And when you pull it out, kind of pull it out at an angle. Okay, so I hope you can probably can't see that there. See that full of paint there? Now, grab this newspaper and hold this at an angle because it will come off there. All right, now I'll put that in here. And I'm just going to open that lid. Actually, I'm going to pour it right into here, I guess. I don't need the... Uh, cup. This method just keeps you from um, getting paint all over your rim and you don't have to use a funnel or whatever. And you just throw this ball away. See my flap everybody? Look at that, look at that. Isn't that nice? Another thing I want to show you when you guys close your paint lid there's a way to do it, too, so you don't splatter paint everywhere. You just tap the lid on there like that. 
you take a rag and you put it over there like that. And you take your rubber mallet and you tap, 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 tap. There, now you don't have paint splattered everywhere or whatever and the lid is on tight. But the other thing I want to show you is how to take the, uh, the lid off. A lot of people go like this. They take their screwdriver and they just pop like this. But the best way to do it is you take your screwdriver, you stick it in there, and you turn it like this. That gets it right to pop right off. Instead of just popping it like this, it's so much easier if you just twist it like that and it comes right off. You know, it's easier that way. Okay. Okay, then, when you put your paint in here, now you got your paint in there. I don't want my paint to dry out. Because it dries, it starts drying out the moment it hits air. So, I want to show you another little trick. Whenever you use paint, you're always going to do this. You're going to add a little bit of water to your paint. That's all there is to it. And then you're going to put your cheesecloth on. And you're going to put your lid on there. And twist that on there. And that's that. Shake it up. And uh, cut that cheesecloth off on the sides and store it. Tip. The little project boards you can get at Walmart. I got mine for 98 cents. They have the two folding up sides. This is laying on the floor, so I'm just kind of holding the camera here just to show you. And they fold up like that. Well, I took one of mine, and I put tape. Don't pay attention to that. That's just paint that I was using it for. I took some tape, and I put it in the four corners like this. And held it up like that. I just stuffed some paper in there for just a little bit more uh, sturdiness. Anyway, when you do that and you flip it over like that, it now becomes the cover for your artwork. Say you're working on resin or even uh, acrylic painting and you just want to cover it up so you don't get cat hair and all this dust in it. This turns into that and you got a nice cover for under a dollar. I want to thank you guys for watching today and I hope you learned a little something. Arrivederci everybody. See you again soon, back in the studio.